Hi Libra, Aditi here with Lodestone Production where we help you discover your true north. Welcome to your February general reading. Um, as always, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Uh, you dig what I'm saying? All right. So here we've got our overall energies. We have past, present, and future energies here. We have some clarification down below and also either a summary or some final advice from spirit depending on how they're feeling that day. As I was shuffling, you also got a bonus card, so I will keep that as well. So, let's get this party started and let's see what we're working with. So, overall energy is Ayana Vision, number 11. Way of the Divine Feminine Revealed. All right. Let's see what we've got going on here. The Divine Feminine yearns to reveal her way and her wisdom to you so that you may live passionately and purposefully. As you trust her inner guiding voice, you recognize the authentic desires and visions that move you from within, that are the seeds of your sacred mission. You shall experience the clarity and soul deep relief that only truth can bring. You shall experience a knowing of purpose that awakens your ability to live deliberately and experience deep fulfillment. Hmm. Hmm. Let me look at this for a minute. Way of Divine Feminine Revealed. The Butterfly. Huh. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. So, let's look at your energies. We've got the Three of Cups in the past. Four of Wands in the present. And we've got the star card in the future. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you, you really... So it, it's... Your focus is on healing your home. Your focus is on healing your home. And you realize that... Your home is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. And you have taken this time here recently and are taking time during this full moon to really heal yourself from within so that you wind up lining up with the promises that have been made to you. But you understand that even though these are promises that were made to you, that there is work. There's work that you have to put in, even though you have divine help. You have divine help here with the star card, right? So this is healing. This is the card of exaltation. This is... You know, recognizing the star quality within you, uh, recognizing that you, you are the one, you are the one that needs the healing because this is your desire, this is your focus, this foundation, this, this firm foundation four of wands is your goal, right? And you see here. That you understand 
where this foundation lies. You understand where the foundation is built. <clears throat> and that you have the desire to get right with spirit, to get right with source, so that this foundation does not falter. So we're going to clarify the queen, no, the queen, clarify the three of cups with the tower, the world, and the moon. tower signifies a divine ending. Um, it's usually very, it's not gentle. It's, it will be uncomfortable at best and painful at worst, but it is very necessary. And a lot of times the tower, because of its very chaotic nature, because it's really undoing a lot of work in a short period of time. So there's an unsettling air about a tower in general. But understand that in the midst of it all, and in spite of it all, that this is divinely orchestrated and that this is for your highest good, right? And then we've got the world card here. So with the world that's you know the end or the beginning whichever one but this signifies a cycle has ended right so we have you have the globe here and then you have the serpent in a perfect circle like you have you, you have this cycle that you've been in Libra is really complete. And this time of not knowing, this time of ignorance, the time of secrets, a time of withholding information, the time of saying just enough to be honest is complete. So you've got the four of wands and the four of wands is clarified by the seven of pentacles, the hanged man, and the fool. Again, this time of lies, this time of saying just enough, this time of doing just enough, right? This having, having just enough to cover the overdraft and say that your bills are paid, that's done. The, the time of making a lot but spending more Because for a, a lot of survival mode, this, this, all of this seven of pentacles is about that. It's about feeling like you don't have enough or feeling like you put in all this work and you're not reaping the benefits of your work like you make good money but all of your money goes to bills and fees you know it's it's being house poor 
and that was the foundation for so long and now you're being called to look at it differently hangman you're being called to let some things go turn some things loose look at things from a different perspective right so that you can start something new with fresh eyes a brand new journey with fresh eyes full card because you understand how stressful this is because this is what it was this here that brought this tower in right right so with the star card the star card is come on Cletus the star card is clarified by the four of wands the magician and the knight of wands Four of Wands, foundation. Again, you know, you know what kind of foundation you desire to have for you in your household. You understand that you are well within, it is well within your grasp to be able to live the way that you want to live, right? And you're taking the necessary steps to be able to do so. Free from this kind of stress. Because this is what you are breaking away from. Yeah. So. And you have the tools to be able to make that happen, Magician. This is not some sort of a lofty goal. A solid foundation on which to build your legacy is an attainable goal. Let me say that one more time. A solid foundation on which to build your legacy is an attainable goal. You have what you need to be able to make that happen. And now you're being blessed. You have been gifted by source with this burst of passionate energy to be able to move towards it. Right? Because here, here, the hangman is almost in a rested or contemplative state. The hangman is a card of release. Okay, this is this is not working anymore. I'm not, I'm done. I'm done fighting it. And now, because you have stopped fighting and you have turned it loose, you now have this new burst of energy to be able to work towards this goal because you understand that this solid foundation is doable. All right, let's see what the uh, final messages from Spirit are. Okay, so you've got the High Priestess. You have the Three of Swords. You have the Four of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then your bonus card, oh, look at that, is the Four of Cups. You, you Libra, have gained so much information and you have kept it to yourself. Even when your name was tarnished or you were betrayed by those that you felt were close to you, you stepped back and you assessed the situation 
while taking some time to heal. And with that, in the midst of that healing, you focused on your resources and you focused on, more importantly, your mindset towards them. With this Four of Cups, you're being called to focus on focus on the positives that have come from all of these lessons that you've learned. There are plenty there, plenty there. There's one in particular that's going to stand out more than the rest. Okay, Libra. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Until we meet again, I urge you to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye now.